Hi everyone. Let's solve this very quickly. X to the power of 3 minus 27 equals 0. And we are expected to get the three solutions here. So what do you do? This is X to the power of 3 minus 27 is 3 to the power of 3. And this is equal to 0, right? From here, we can conclude that x should be equal to 3, so that 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 will be 0, right? But if we make this conclusion, we'll not get the three solutions. So we'll apply difference of two cubes. And if you have this, a cube minus b cube, this is the same thing as a, a minus b okay into a squared plus a b plus b squared okay so that if we proceed from here now we are going to have um, a minus b will become x minus 3 so we write x minus 3 here then here a squared is x squared plus a b is x times 3 that is 3x plus b squared which will now be 3 squared and that is what 9 okay so we will equate this to 0 because we have 0 over there now we are multiplying both of them to get 0 so we apply um, zero product rule okay okay zero product rule right so to do that we'll now say that it's either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0 now this is a linear equation what we have here so if you solve it you have one solution and this is quadratic if you solve it you're going to have two solutions so our x is 0 plus 3 from here and then x is equal to 3 this is one of the solutions now to get the others let's bring this to the left so that we'll have x squared plus 3x plus 9 to be 0. And then, what do we do from here? This is quadratic, so let's use the formula for this. And the formula, we have a, which will be 1, the coefficient of x squared. We have b, which is positive 3. And then our C is equal to 9. That is the, the constant over the right. So what is the formula for quadratic equation? X is equal to minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC. Divide all through by 2A. So once you know the formula, the next thing is to substitute into the formula. So our x will now be minus b, which will become minus 3. Then plus or minus, we have the square root of b squared, which will be 3 squared, minus 4. a is 1, and c is 9. So multiply by 1 and 9. So 4 times 1 times 9. Then we divide it by 2 times 1. Now x from here is equal to minus 3. Plus or minus, we have the square root of 3 squared. What is 3 squared? 9. Minus 4 times 1 times 9. That will give us um, 36. So we write 36 over here. And then we divide the whole of this by 2, right? 
let's continue so our x from here will now be minus 3 plus or minus the square root of now here is one mistake that learners can make they'll be tempted to find the square root of 9 then the square root of 36 before subtracting but that will not be correct okay the right thing is to simplify 9 minus 20 um, 36 that is minus 27 so now you can find the square root of negative 27 so we we'll divide all of this by 2 okay so if we proceed we're going to have x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus we have square root of 27 you can see that I left out the negative so I can pick the negative and multiply it okay multiply by square root of negative 1 so that this will be divided by 2 okay let's continue over here okay we got x to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 27 multiplied by square root of negative 1 divided by 2 so we continue x will be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 because 27 is 9 times 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1 is i then we divide by 2 okay so we we'll continue x will now be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 then 3 here is not a perfect square so we'll still write root 3 multiply by i remember this is all over 2 so the next step is to rearrange so that x will be minus 3 plus or minus 3 times i that will be 3i then we have root 3 divided through by 2 now let's get the three solutions okay so the first solution we'll call it x1 that is 3 now the second solution is our x2 and that will be minus 3 plus I'll pick positive first so I'll now have 3i root 3 everything is over 2 and then I have x to the x3 yes the third solution that will be minus 3 minus 3i root 3 divided by 2 so these are the three solutions to the equation